everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, a couple of ideas on how to organize the educational process uh, while everyone is kept in a quarantine. Uh, I'm an English language teacher. I'm based in Russia. And here uh, in Russia, as well as everywhere in the world now, uh, we don't teach offline. We all are re re we, we are all required to teach online and sometimes we don't know where to start and how to organize it more effectively. So what you can do, you can um, organize a document uh, which can help students to work more collaboratively. Uh, it's one of the Google Google uh, documents. It's called Google Sheets. And if you have a Google account, for example, as I have, you can simply go to Google Drive, click this new plus document button, go to Google Sheets, uh, press here, and you get a blank uh, spreadsheet, which you later can share using this button. So you can edit it as, um, as you edit any Excel file. But the main advantage of this uh, spreadsheet is that you can share it online with your students and they can um, and they can go there, you, they can see the task, they can put their questions. Yeah, whatever they can, they, that, that's a kind of simple, simple tool to organize collaborative work. So my idea here is this one. Uh, I've got this spread uh, sheet uh, with uh, two main columns, uh, two two main parts, the columns and the lines. In the first line, you can see the names of my students. I've got 16 of line students studying English at university. And here in this column, uh, you see I have already given the task for the first week, which is till March 23rd. But it's not just the way how I give them homework. I also want them to collaborate, to work in pairs or in small groups. Uh, I, it, it can be difficult, you know, to organize an online course with all the uh, the links, with all the tasks and etc. But it's quite easy to do is to do it with this Google spreadsheet. Uh, my students at the moment are divided into pairs according to the color I assigned. I simply can change the color, and next week I'm going to change the pairs. For example. If this week Elvira works with Sofia, next week I may want Elvira to work with the other student. Let's say I will want to work with Yuri, uh, who is the, the next person. And I may want Sofia, for example, if I change the color, to work with the other student. And that's the way how I'm going to change the color uh, every week because that will increase participation and involvement. And I really find it important for, for any kind of education. So as soon as they do the tasks, they are supposed, during the week, they are supposed to exchange their keys, their answers. They're going to compare answers. They're going to work in pairs. They are going to watch it and discuss a video. They are going to prepare some role plays and etc. And that square is exactly for them where they can put their feedback. For example, the student can put here OK, meaning the task was, was fine, there were no questions. Or, for example, for the other student, we may have not OK or maybe just simply no, which means probably she didn't do the tasks or she didn't complete the Yeah, it, 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 it depends on, on the performance of the student. Uh, in a similar way, students can put questions. For example, if they have questions, they can put exercise three, sentence number six. Uh, we've got a question. It's just for us, it's not clear or they just can put any question they, they, they have during the week. Uh, as soon as the questions are collected here, or as soon as I see the feedback, uh, they actually are supposed to provide feedback by Monday, because on Tuesday next week, we are going to have an online meeting in Zoom, uh, which is a lovely platform for online lessons. 
and uh, it has um, such a feature as breakout rooms where I can divide students, put them into pairs, put them into groups and they can practice their speaking skills. Uh, that's also the time I will use it as a learning opportunity because students will be able to ask their questions and I will be able to answer and to clarify if they had, if they experienced any, any difficulties while doing their homework. So that this is how I see my work for now, uh, as we are going to be put, um, uh, as we are going to be kept in quarantine for, for a month or maybe longer. That can be a really, really good way out. So I wish you good health. Stay tuned. Uh, that was Yekaterina Shadrova from Russia. Thank you.